Hey guys, how's it going? It is your boy Pavery Sneeze 1926 here, back today with another video. Now today, in this video, we will be reviewing the third weapon that we got in the last clan war. Now please don't criticize me for spamming this weapon, because today's weapon for this video, as you can see, is the Luxury Beats. Now this thing has suffered a huge amount of nerfs recently, which is not very good because it used to be extremely OP, but it is a good thing that it did get nerfed a little bit, but I think the devs nerfed it a little bit too much because now it's not the best. But, 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 if we go to capture and we go to any of these capture ones, point capture ones, or walking fortresses, or if you go to a classic pool deathmatch, you will see that this thing is very good. Now, Let's just hop into, uh, let's do Mining Camp, because why not? I love Mining Camp. It's always fun. Mining Camp and Area 52 are amazing. All right. It is going to be a 2v1, but that is fine. Because this thing, ha this thing has a huge AoE. Like, it's really, really big. Which is really good. And it has this weakening effect, so it does allow for easier kills. Oh, I did not get that kill, did I? It's quite sad. Well, I'm going to go pressure them, so... Maybe we can get some kills. This thing is currently like a 3 to 4 shot. Which is kind of annoying because that's pretty much a whole clip. But if there are like 5 people all in one little capture point. This is easy kills for you. That's like 5 kills with it. Which I have seen happen by other luxury sp um, beat spammers. In these point capture matches. I've seen it a lot actually. I've seen a lot of people using luxury beats. And whenever they see a bunch of people... All sitting on one point, they just start spamming it, and that's like, you can see in the death chat, there's like five kills that they just got because of that. Five or something like that. Not always five, sometimes they get like three or four, but still, that's a lot of kills. And with the weakening effect, it really helps, because these people, their damage gets greatly reduced. Like 50%, I think, this weapon does. Which is really good. I mean, against 3 cat spammers, it's not going to do much because 3 cat spam, you can deliver a lot of damage in a short amount of time. Which is kind of overpowered. And I don't want to bring this up, but I do think it needs at least a slight nerf. Because when you really think about it, I mean, sure, it does take skill. But it also does a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. All at once. And I'm pretty sure, like, if, they, if you get to the point where you're so good at 3 cat spamming... You might be able to, it, you'd probably be better than people that are just spamming a heavy weapon. They're spamming one OP weapon. But, I mean, I do 3 cat spam too. I enjoy it. It, it. it does take skill, so, I don't know. But, using Luxury Beats is not really going to help against 3 cat spammers. Because they can deliver so much damage in a short amount of time. Which is not very helpful if you're going to be spamming this weapon in point capture. Now, I wouldn't recommend just spamming Luxury Beats. If you're going to have Luxury Beats in your loadout, I'd recommend having other spam weapons. Like maybe, I don't know, Solar Flare or something. Even though it's not as effective as it used to be because of recent reload time nerfs. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend using other spam spammable weapons alongside with this. Anything that you could think that um, you see spammed a lot. I don't, like, I don't know, cluster bomb weapons nowadays and stuff. Or, I don't really know. Just overpowered weapons that you can spam. I would recommend using those with luxury beats. Because, you don't want to just use this because it doesn't have the highest damage. But, if you do have um, the Borders Eraser or the Eraser, you can pull a bunch of people into a small area. And then just walk up to them with the beats. And I was like, hey man. Having fun yet? Just instantly decimate like five of them. There's not much they can do against you. As long as they're not all three cats spamming your face. Because if they are three cats spamming your face, you don't really have a chance. But if they're like just sitting there oblivious to the fact that you just dropped on their forehead. Then that's like four easy kills. Like, it's not that hard. Oh, let's use some cyber beasts. Hopefully we don't die before. Oh, we died. Well, that's fun. Alright, we're going to uh, maybe play two more matches because I did say a few things that this could be very useful at. Alright. You know, ooh. 
Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's 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 do a oh, let's do walking fortress. Let's do walking fortress. Cause a lot of people are gonna be in small areas. I think this will be the last game for this video. Like I said when my previous videos, I am probably gonna be doing like one or two like two games, I think, for every video, unless I really wanna make a do a third game. So yeah. We're just gonna be doing two for this one. Cause I am trying to get all of those videos out. Not just one a day. Like, I want to get some content out since I haven't been making a lot. Now, you probably have all noticed that. It's like a guarantee that you have noticed that. Because I haven't been keeping up very well. I'm very sorry about that. But I've been playing a lot more Brawl Stars than Pixel Gun recently. Oh, easy kills. Look at this. I'm not even looking at them when I'm getting free kills. It's like triple bite, but with ammo. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, my. Let's go jump down here. Here we go. Reload. Really, that was a really bad excuse for a reload because it really did nothing for me. Oh, did I hit the flag? Oh, nope. Oh, come on. At least I got them weakened. And that man's spamming Chickaboom. Chickaboom is really good. If you don't got, if you guys don't have that, it's like, it's like ultimatum, but with fixed delay. Except that it also has a lot of, um... A lot more ammo than the ultimatum does, and you don't have to reload it after every single shot, which is a very big plus. But we're not reviewing Chicka Boom today. I think I already did that. So, let's try to get a few more kills with this, if I can. But like I said, this is a very spammable weapon. It really is. If you're a spammer, this is what you want to use. You want to use this along with other spammy weapons. Also, if you have the Super Magna Gadget, this thing is going to be very, very good. Especially if you use this in Classic Pool Deathmatch where everyone's always in, like, one hallway. Whip out that Super Magna Gadget, pull everyone in, and just spam the heck out of this. There's not much they can really do. They're all weakened. I mean, they might all shoot at you, of course. There's always that. But you might, you might get them all if you're very lucky without dying all at once. This thing also does have teammates healing, so it can be very helpful in clan raids if um, you don't have Sly Wolf and you have this instead. And this thing, I think, can be more effective than Sly Wolf in clan raids because if you're trying to heal some people, like your teammates, and you just got knocked, like all of your teammates except for you just got knocked, or maybe some other guys didn't get knocked by a nuclear howitzer in um, clan raids, you could just heal your teammates up while you're standing there resing everyone in the freaking radioactivity area, whatever you want to call it. I don't know how to call it. I'm just going to say radioactivity area because I can. Where's this guy? Oh, you sly buddy. You cannot get away from me. Where is he still alive? Oh, there we go. If you get a lot of people concentrated in a small area, this thing is going to be really good. I pretty much have stressed that a lot. Throughout this video so far. Oh, we are losing, but I do have a decent score. This buddy's trying to run away. <laughs> nah, nah, not today. Die. Thank you, bro. Thank you. All right. Even though we did lose, you did probably see I did get quite a few kills there. A lot of kills. So this thing can be really good if you can get a lot of people concentrated in small areas. Like in point capture and walking, fortress walking fortresses. And classic pool deathmatch. So that's pretty much all I had to say for this weapon. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and peace out.